Now, regular loop readers will, of course, know all about the Icon A5, which we've brought you footage and stories about for years. Usually, though, of course, from America, Oshkosh. And the first time, though, Icon have brought a model of the A5 here for European parts to have a look at at Friedrich Schaffen. So why have they done that? Well, one man who knows is a VP of sales, Craig Bowers. Let's go and ask him. Uh, this was the right time to really uh, get over here, spend some time, and get to know the market really in some detail. You recently made some pretty major advance in the spin resistance yeah. testing and so on. You got approval for that. There's yeah. really nothing left to change in the aircraft, is no, it? No, there really isn't. That was the last major piece of our flight test regimen. Um, and uh, obviously, we're, we're extremely excited about what that is. It, it gets fairly technical, but the idea is that uh, for the sport flying and what we believe the sport pilot wants to do with the airplane and, and where we see the real market, giving a pilot an aircraft that, that essentially doesn't want to go into a spin, a, a, a benign stall uh, and a very safe, low altitude flying aircraft is critical. So we're excited about where it was and as we spend time with the marketplace and explain what it is and what we did, we've seen certainly our owners and, uh, and the market in general being very supportive. So we're, we're extremely excited about what spin resistance means to the A5. A spin-resistant airplane is resistant to spins, controllable in a stall, and has a slow descent rate during a stall. Spin resistance is a somewhat complicated issue to relay to people. The best way to do that would be a visual method. Once ICON arrived at the A5 spin-resistant design, they decided the best demonstration of the A5 spin resistance would be to fly it alongside one of the most proven light airplanes in the world, stall both aircraft side by side, applying the same control inputs Pull aft stick, right rudder. Stick aft, right rudder. in an effort to initiate a spin. Idle power. Idle. Pull aft stick, right rudder. Stick aft, right rudder. The 150 does in fact end up in the spin. Those same controls when you put it into the icon, it's very docile, nose stays pointed pretty much straight ahead, and it does not spin. You want an airplane that doesn't bite them, and uh, given that the, the safety st st statistics show that, uh, that in that low altitude, certainly in the landing pattern, if a pilot gets into a situation where into a stall and that airplane starts to, to do something uh, strange, um, uh, they don't have much time to get out of that. Sure. And, and uh, what we've I, uh, done with spin resistance is avoid that. I think some FAA stats are saying it's 48% of, of accidents are stalls. Uh, exactly yeah. the kind of moments that you're talking. Yeah. Anything yeah. you guys can do to minimize that is going to make it a more attractive yeah. proposition for new pilots, which is... And, know, and by doing. building a spin resistant aircraft, what we've essentially done is given a pilot that almost throughout the entire stall series, they've still got adequate roll control on the airplane. It's, it's an exciting development for us. Now, our major news event from Friedrichshafen so far is the first appearance publicly of the Rotax 912 ISD injected Rotax and yeah. of course means no problems with carb icing, no fuel mix problems and so on. Now, is this something you must be looking at because for your, your kind of pilots this is perfect, it's exactly the kind of thing they want. Yeah, exactly. Uh, stay tuned, nothing's been announced yet, but we're, uh, we're extremely excited about where Rotax is going, the direction of that, and uh, I think you'll see some interesting things out of ICON here as we uh, head into production uh, towards the end of this year.